Jesse McCree has been fired from Blizzard, but what the hell does this mean for Jesse McCree in Overwatch? All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So to give you a very quick breakdown of what's happened, McCree, Jesse McCree, the actual Jesse McCree, it's not this person we're looking at on the screen here. Oh, no, no, no. It's this person. This is Jesse McCree. He's a lead game designer of Diablo or one of the lead or was one of the lead game designers of Diablo. As far as we understand, his name was used for McCree because it sounds like a cowboy. That's literally it. We don't have any more information beyond that. But the problem we've got is this is Jesse McCree. This is also Jesse McCree, this guy here with his finger up in the air. And this is also Jesse McCree, this guy who is saying, yeah, bring the girls to the Cosby suite because we're going to fuck them. And it's like, okay, great. This is not good at all. This is horrifically bad. And of course, all of the stuff that's been going on with Blizzard, I've covered it in detail on the channel. But you've got all of the harassment stuff going down. You've got everything. It's bad. It's super bad. This is one of the men in a powerful position, clearly abusing his position. Anyway, this happened. He's now gone. So if we go over to Forbes and we check this out, what we've got is with Jesse McCree out at Blizzard, what happens to Jesse McCree, the Overwatch hero? And this is actually a legitimate question. What happens to him? Because the name now, it's no longer just the cowboy in Overwatch. It's also a person in a position of power, abusing that power, involved in a harassment case. Oh, dear me. That is, it, this is, this is, it's super bad. But one thing I will say, though, before I start breaking down what's been going on, there is scope in the law of Overwatch to actually rename McCree because I believe there's a voice line between Sombra and McCree where Sombra says, what's your real name anyway? And McCree doesn't answer the question. So McCree does, or, or she knows his real name. There's some sort of take on a the line there. But there is scope to actually rename McCree. The problem becomes, how do you remove him from the law? Because... What about the reunion cinematic? McCree's in that quite clearly. He's 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 called McCree in the cinematic multiple times. Echo calls it him. Ash calls it him. He's in loads of other lore, and it would be very it would be impossible to scrub that from the game. What do they do? Just rename the character and move forward. But let's go through this and break it all down. So what happened yesterday was the big news that another storm at Activision Blizzard has hit, as the company confirmed that it is departed. Ways with three employees, Diablo 4 director Louis Barriaga or Baraga, lead level designer Jesse McCree, and World of Warcraft designer Jonathan LeCraft. While no reason was given for their departure, McCree and LeCraft were both featured in the infamous Cosby Suite photo. A group of men known for bad behavior at company events like BlizzCon. Jesse McCree was screen capped as posting one of the more vulgar messages in the group's chat. It's known, it's unknown if that alone was the reason for his departure or if there was more uncovered in the investigation. This creates an unusual situation for Blizzard, which just so happens to have named one of its main Overwatch heroes, Jesse McCree, the gunslinging cowboy, after the real life McCree. Now it's a legitimate question what might happen to the character, or at least his name, in the wake of McCree's departure. As part of Activision Blizzard's attempting to change its culture, they specifically cited in-game content on the menu for removal if it contained inappropriate references from Bobby Kotick's statement. And this is what he said, and this was part of the earnings call, uh, I believe. Um, I think it was made part of the earnings call, but it's, it's an official statement off Bobby anyway. And this is what he said. In-game changes, we have heard the input from, our, from employee and player communities that some of our in-game content is inappropriate. We are removing that content. Now, this, we thought at the time, was, okay, it's just in reference to World of Warcraft. Like, stupidly, you can no longer use the spit emote, but you can still type horrific racist abuse in the chat. It's like, well, whatever. They did remove Alex Afrasabi's character from Stormwind uh, in World of Warcraft. They replaced it. So, mm. McCree, though, is a completely different kettle of fish. This is, um, an in it's like a main character. To use a Warcraft comparison, it would be like changing, I don't know, um... Jaina completely into a totally different character, yet she's been involved in the law for ages. You know, it'd be super difficult to do that. Oh, and they actually do say this. Like they say they were mainly referring to instances like World of Warcraft NPC being named after fired harasser Alex Afrasabi. Though Jesse McCree has not been accused of direct misconduct towards women like Afrasabi, clearly Blizzard believes his actions or inaction was inappropriate. So what now happens with Jesse McCree? Well, see, it turns out the Overwatch community was wrestling with this even before McCree was fired. When McCree's vulgar comments in the Cosby Suite group chat came out, some players started to edge towards the idea that McCree should be renamed, or perhaps the most blatant display of rejection. And this is really cool by, by these two guys. Um, 
is Alcaster's Bren and Sideshow, uh, they made the decision to just not use his name at all. In fact, they just call him the Cowboy. So if you go back and look at any of the games they've recently cast at Overwatch League, they just say, oh yeah, and the Cowboy's doing this. They don't say Jesse McCree. Uh, that's a very conscious decision by those guys. And I mean, that's not been stopped by Blizzard. So maybe, you know, Blizzard are, are fine. But then again, how could Blizzard stop that? What could they even do? Go, no, you, no, you must use Jesse McCree's name. I do know for a fact, though, that this is actually quite, this is quite, um, it's quite substantial, this is really, because Blizzard want you to refer to their heroes as their correct name when you're a caster in Overwatch League. So Wrecking Ball, they're not really shouting Ball, Ball, Ball or Hammond or whatever. They have to say Wrecking Ball. Yeah, the casters get it wrong sometimes, but I'm almost certain that that was a directive, especially in Season 1 and Season 2. I know that was a directive, and it probably still is. But the fact that they were not saying McCree, you know, it does sort of imply that maybe they are gearing up to sort of change the name if the higher-ups at Activision Blizzard are okay with them not using the name of the character. Um, so, yeah, the question is, what does Blizzard do here? Like, on the one hand, it's probably the case that 98% of Overwatch players had no idea McCree was named after a real Blizzard employee. And they probably didn't, because, like, this is the thing. If, I, if you went up to somebody on the street and you just said, excuse me, and, and, you know, they played games and they knew what Overwatch was, I've got two pictures here. Can you point out Jesse McCree? And I showed you this picture... And then I showed you this picture. You wouldn't even know who this guy is. You'd be like, I don't know who this guy is. But this, you'd be like, yeah, that's McCree. And this, I think, is what Blizzard have got to wrestle with. It's what is Jesse McCree in terms of Blizzard. And the unfortunate reality is Jesse McCree is now somebody involved in a sexual harassment case, has had his contract terminated at Blizzard. He has been fired because of those reasons. And maybe Blizzard found even more reason. And so what you're left with is a character in the game whose name now long no longer means the gunslinging cowboy, Jesse McCree. It means all of that, which I just said before. And that is a massive problem. And that means Blizzard probably do have to act and probably do need to sort out the name of this character or at least make major changes because just leaving it as is, I think would be very insensitive considering what has gone on at the moment. At least that's my take on it right now. I also just want to jump over to Screen Ramp because, again, they talk about Overwatch League casters aren't saying McCree's name anymore. And I just want to run through this. So there's actually an editor's note at the top here. And it says, A lawsuit has been filed against Activision Blizzard uh, by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing, which alleges the company has engaged in abuse, discrimination, and retaliation against its female employees. Activision Blizzard has denied the allegations. The full details of Activision Blizzard's lawsuit, uh, content warning and all of that, are, are below. Well, we know the details of that, and it's Blizzard have, where well, they did come out in a statement and deny it, but they are obviously taking actions now behind the scenes to remove people who were involved in it. So they are starting to do things in a way that's almost like an admission. But then again, look at the evidence. The evidence is like so overwhelming. It's just, it's, it's that they have to act. So Screen Rant goes on to say, some casters for the, why does this select the whole page? There we go. Some casters for the Overwatch League are no longer referring to the hero, Jesse McCree, by name. Instead, they are opting to call him the Cowboy following the real-life McCree's involvement with, with the ongoing lawsuit by the state of California. McCree's namesake is now ex-Blizzard developer of the same name. The real-life Jesse McCree is best known for his work on the Diablo series, including being lead designer on Diablo 4. However, McCree left blizzard recently after photo surfaces of him uh photo surface sorry of him in the infamous cosby suite he was also seen in the cosby suite group chat that was created by alex afrasabi and then we go down and we see like a bunch of responses so um we've got mitch uber shouts like one of the the casters for overwatch league um we've got this person on twitter saying it sounds like sideshow gaming and braincast are avoiding the cowboys hero name and i really appreciate that and you've got other casters agreeing with that. Hey, that's actually a good name, which a, a good idea. And, and to be honest, it is a good idea. Um, yeah, and then this article just goes on to sort of like, you know, bulk that out. So the next thing I want to do is I kind of want to jump on to, um, I think I had I had IGN open because again, this is just pretty much what the, the Forbes article um, was showing us where again, you know, you've got, um, oh yeah, that's the reason why I had this one. I knew there was a reason. There's always a reason. I've got a tab open. Uh, yeah, so it was this update at the start because IGN reached out to Blizzard and said, what the hell's going on? Uh, and Blizzard said, we have a deep, talented roster of developers already in place and new leaders have been assigned where appropriate. We are confident in our ability to continue progress, deliver amazing experience to our players and move forward to ensure a safe, productive work environment for all. Great. That's just a PR comment. Now, the, the, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is you're basically firing a lot of people involved in Diablo 4. 
Does that mean Diablo 4 is an absolute shit show? You've just removed all the people that were in charge of the game, basically. So what the hell is going on in Diablo 4? Is it still okay? Is it a mess? Will it get scrapped? Will it come back? Will it be delayed? All these problems, right? It's just a mess at Blizzard right now. And it's sad, but things do need to change, and they need to change rapidly. And this takes me on to my next point. This is the A Better ABK. So this stands for A Better Activision Blizzard King, which ABK is what the, the company's referred to sort of internally. And they say this on Twitter. Now remember, this is the this is the it's almost like the union Twitter account for Blizzard workers. Uh, and they say it's been two weeks since our walkout and leadership has yet to embrace significant change. With thousands of ABK employees on our side, we're hard at work building a movement that will continue to take action until real tangible change is enacted. So they're still waiting for things to happen. They're still waiting for things to change. So this needs to change. Like, And I don't know what Blizzard are doing. They need to uh, ramp this up, amplify it, uh, make the changes quicker. Uh, there needs to be more of a catalyst. I mean, hell, that could you even get more of a catalyst than what's been going on the last few weeks at Blizzard? Anyway, I want to jump over to Reddit because on Reddit, what we've got here is a bunch of people talking about this. Jesse McCree's no longer at Blizzard. Is there going to be a name change for the character? Now, we've got like a bunch of stupid suggestions, obviously. <laughs> and then you've got, um, where was the one I wanted to show you guys? Uh, yeah, here we go. So this is, so there's two, there's two, parts of the argument here right you can come at it from the perspective i think i'm coming at it from whereas yeah we probably do need to change the name of the character just simply because jesse mccree no longer means what it does mean in the blizzard world it means something completely different something terrible something horrific and probably does need changing but the other side to it is this i don't see mccree getting a name change he's a much much more well-known character than anyone who's worked at blizzard and people should be able to separate his name from the developer Stop suggesting he should be named after Matt Mercer. I love the guy, but if he ever does anything bad, you run into the exact same issue that is currently at hand. I doubt and also hope that Mercer doesn't get involved with any scandals, but why would you take the risk right now of all times? So there was a lot of people calling for Matt Mercer, who's the voice of McCree, to just rename rename him to Mercer. Just call him Matt Mercer, right? But again, like this commenter says, you kind of run into the same issue, right? If he ever gets found to do anything wrong, then you're going to need to change it again basically you want to keep your law names for your characters just completely made up you don't want them based on real life people because you don't know what might happen with those people right and that's the lesson that has been learned here with mccree so i doubt they're going to go let's call him matt mercer i'd be very shocked if they did but the first one that's the thing that, that, that i really want to sort of talk about here like he's much more well known isn't he in overwatch for being mccree it goes back to what i said at the top of the video if you say to somebody who is Jesse McCree, they go, it's this guy. They don't go, it's this guy. It's this guy. It's not this guy. But the problem is this guy, that's where McCree's name comes from. And everybody knows that now. And this guy is also here and he's here and he's fired. And so this guy now, his name is destroyed. And that's basically it. There isn't really any more we can do to discuss this. That's literally it. And if anyone at Blizzard thinks, oh yeah, it's fine. And they go, you know what? It's cool. We'll just leave it because McCree, yeah, he's McCree in Overwatch. It's a problem, ain't it? But this does give Blizzard a cool opportunity, especially with Overwatch, right? They, they've got the chance now to change the name of a character, which they've never done. And it's a character that we know, actually, Jesse McCree isn't his real name because it's been alluded to through various bits of lore in-game anyway. So they now could build a whole little sort of lore experience out where, you know, or maybe even they do a new comic, a new short story or something, I don't know, where it comes to, to the front that this is McCree's new name and they change his name in the game. And then they just leave everything else. It's like, that's ancient history now. Because this now is McCree. And he's actually come out with his new name, whatever his new name might be. Now, it's always going to be a problem. Because, I mean, I'm always going to get confused and, and literally call him McCree. Because I, I mean, he's one of my most played characters as well, McCree. But we've played Overwatch for nearly six years now. And he, he's McCree. He's the cowboy in Overwatch. But he's no longer that, right? Because of all these other issues. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I think it's a much more complicated issue than just coming at it like maybe how i have come at it and just said like yeah you you probably do need to change his name there are a lot of back and forth here there are like well mccree in overwatch is not this guy in the real world that's involved in the, the, the harassment and, and has lost his job and has destroyed the name of blizzard or he's one of the people that has assisted in the destruction of the name of blizzard you get what i'm saying but all of these issues run a lot deeper in Blizzard and we know they've got a ton of problems that they need to sort it out. And that's why I do want to end the video with this. You've got to do something, Blizzard. You've got to do something. 
You've got to get in there and you've got to fix these these problems. Because you know what? At a very base level, and this is kind of a selfish level, but if your developers are not happy, your developers don't make good experiences for the gamers. And I'm a gamer. And so I want your developers to be happy. But also, it's just basic bloody human decency, right? Sort out your working environment. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And uh, I will catch you lovely lot on the next video. Toodaloo.